What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's Harry Haas, and uh, today we're going to be talking about a pattern that has been happening quite frequently uh, over the last uh, three or four months, and it's the VWAP reclaim pattern. This has always been kind of going on, but there's uh, certain stocks that you can actually have a, a better edge on than other ones. So uh, I'm gonna get into that. Uh, before I start, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. This is purely for entertainment purposes. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So with this pattern, um, I'm looking for the stock to either use VWAP as support on the way up, or I like to see the stock starting to base underneath VWAP. VWAP is a line for me. Um, the lower the float, the better. I'm gonna get into a little bit uh, more of those topics later. Um, I'm not looking to buy into strength, and this is a pattern for your toolbox that we won't necessarily see every day, but it's a pattern that when you do see it, I know on uh, uh, BLN, P, uh, me and Aloha kind of started to recognize this pattern before it happened, and we ended up catching a decent move on it. So it's a pattern that um, you kind of anticipate and you kind of watch for, but you're not necessarily going out and, and looking for it every day. So what I find works best for these types of zombie moves are stocks that are easy to borrow. They have SSR on, they're low float, they have high volume. The float has been rotated multiple times. It's above VWAP or it's reclaiming VWAP, and they're all day one stocks. The ideal time frame that I'm looking for is usually uh, between 9.45 and 10.45. And ideally, the stock dips kind of out of the open. Um, usually, you get like a pop with a lot of people buying this this stuff right away but ideally the stock kind of pops and then dips and we'll go over diagrams and we'll go over charts in a little bit but you know ideally it dips it starts to fade but it isn't dead keep in mind the amount of volume being done because if you have you know and we're gonna keep getting into this but if the float has already been rotated a couple of times before it starts to zombie you know that's something key that I'm looking for and also I don't love it if the volume dries up and it's just kind of fading and what I mean by that is if it goes a couple minutes without even a single print on the tape or you know the volume has just dried up completely and it's just kind of getting illiquid and no one's really buying it or selling it and it's just kind of fading I don't really like that action and another thing I'm gonna keep in mind for you guys is use the lines so just because it is the VWAP pattern doesn't mean we're gonna throw everything that we've learned in MIC out the window we're gonna incorporate the lines with these types of setups to give us an even bigger edge rather than just saying oh well it's a VWAP reclaim pattern I don't need to use the lines for that I use the lines for every single pattern or like little system or anything I'm always going to be using resistance and support accompanied by the type of thesis and idea that I have this is myo from today and I'm going to talk about uh, this stock that the types of patterns you're going to see the the same pattern coming up over and over and over again so basically what we have here is we have a low float which the float has been rotated um, we get a pop and then immediately we get this sort of dipping action and this dipping action you have a lot of short sellers saying uh, you know the stock is done there's no way that it can come back from this uh, you know just the psychology in this is that you you're gonna have a lot of people counting the stock out and saying it's done but what they're not realizing is that this is a low float uh, this stock has a decent amount of range you know there's a there's a lot of things that that are kind of going for the stock um, so then we start to see it base up so basically there's kind of two entry signals that I see here one is that the stock is basing underneath VWAP that's uh, you know a type of thing that I like because usually when I see it base under VWAP I know that a lot of shorts are risking VWAP and then we get this massive pop and we've kind of we've blown through all their stocks so basically if I'm gonna enter underneath VWAP I'm kind of anticipating that when it, the stock 
uh, go through view app that we're going to have a nice big push. The other entry that I see here is this red candle. So I'm never going to enter long into a candle like this, but into a candle like this where I see the stock dipping and I notice that the stock's holding, you know, that's something that I'm going to look for as well. And then of course we get this, we get this move up, but ideally I'm looking for an entry here with it basing underneath VWAP or an entry here where I notice that the stock is holding kind of above VWAP in that uh, kind of area. But again, I know I'm going to repeat myself a lot, but I just want you guys to understand that I'm never going to be entering in these big volume candles, these big strength candles, because I know that a lot of people are going to see a lot of green on the tape. They're going to see a lot of buying and they're going to be trying to chase this candle. So I never want to chase it. I'm either going to enter at this base or I'm going to enter uh, when I notice that the stock is holding. So yeah, this is the end. Don't hesitate to message me. Um, you know, I'm always around. I'm always here, but just, uh, you know, for future reference, I talk to members all the time. I do calls, two or three or four calls every day after the market closes. And, uh, you know, after I'm done trading, I'm usually done trading at, you know, two or three o'clock. So when we start to see that, you know, reversal come into play. So that, that's the time that I'm usually done. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, don't hesitate to message me. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.